bring it on in. <laughs> well, it's too big, Mrs. H. I'm just gonna get a smaller one. Man. I gotta remember that when my aunt comes. <laughs> she is a big gal. Uh huh. Oh, thank you very much, Van. Thanks doesn't pay the bills, Mrs. H. <laughs> Neither do you. <laughs> oh, I love the smell of Christmas, and so this is gonna be a great one. Oh, how can it not be with such a gorgeous tree? Hey, Jake, you excited? Santa's coming. I'm getting a bite. Now, Jake. You know, that's up to Santa and whether he thinks you've been naughty or nice. You're very pretty. <laughs> Save it for Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, this is so special. It's our first Christmas with Elizabeth. Oh, I remember our first Christmas with you, Cheyenne. Oh. You're the reason we started all our Christmas traditions. Mm. Ooh, another Cheyenne is great story. My favorite is how she makes the sun come up in the morning. <laughs> Kira's right, Mom. You should tell a nice story about her. Oh, right. <laughs> One of the hardest things I ever did was to tell my mama we weren't going to her house for Christmas. But waking up and sharing the moment together, it really felt right. You were the start of our little family. <gasps> Cheyenne is great, everybody. What an unexpected twist. <laughs> oh, no, don't, don't look. Don't look. What? What is it? Is it for me? No. Well, then why would I care? <laughs> well, I wanted it to be a surprise, but look! For Elizabeth's oh. first Christmas! <laughs> oh, Mom, this is so awesome! <laughs> look, man, a teeny booty ornament. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it for anyone, but uh, Elizabeth has two feet. I am so looking forward to this Christmas Eve. There is just something so special about having a baby in the house. Uh. <laughs> or it's special just having baby's things in the house. What are you talking about? Um, we want to go away for Christmas Eve. Which Christmas Eve? <laughs> Because it's sure not going to be this one. <laughs> Mom, all that stuff you said about what that first Christmas meant to you was so moving. We want that feeling, too. Yeah, Mrs. H, you inspired us. And that's not easy. <laughs> We're very unmotivated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, well... Oh, you know what? We did go to my parents' house. I forgot. <laughs> Look, Mom, Van's cousin offered us his cabin in Lake Conroe. It's in the middle of the woods, and there's deer and a big fireplace. Yeah, that's real Christmassy. <laughs> Mom, please. Please? But what about all our traditions? I mean, if you go, who's going to help me decorate the tree and, and bake cookies and sing Christmas carols? Well, you'll, you'll still have Kira and Jake. Yeah, Kira and Jake. <laughs> Honey, I love your brother, but have you ever heard him sing? <laughs> okay, Mom. All right, we'll stay here. Okay. One big family. Some of us against our will. <laughs> yeah. Nothing says Christmas like a hostage situation. <laughs> <sighs> oh, all right. <laughs> if what I said affected you guys that much, then... Go ahead and start your own special Christmas memories. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Selfish brat. <laughs> We got a little issue here. Jake wants to stay over at our house on Christmas Eve. I want him to read me the night before Christmas like he always does. You know, I told him I'd still do it. I'd just do it over the telephone. Yeah, or we could just write him a nice letter. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> These are good. That's not the same. And I want to read the story to Henry, too. 
But, Jake, we had plans, honey. What about all the stuff we were going to do? I'll send carols with you before I go. Well, that, that's, that's good, son. And then you won't have to sing over at our house. <laughs> okay, well, what do you say? Me and your dad talk about it, and we'll see what we can work out. Yeah. So, can he? Of course not. Well, we'll just pretend we're talking, and then you go in and tell him no. Well, why not? You know how important this is to me? Besides, you got the kids last year. We went to Hawaii last year, remember? To make things easier for everyone. Not the Hawaiians. <laughs> Barbara Jean, help me out here. Oh, yeah, Barbara Jean. Tell me what you think. Well, I... Th I think the only reason I'm still here is you're blocking my way to the living room. <laughs> I've already lost Cheyenne, Van, and Elizabeth. Yeah, I, and I feel bad about that, but come on, Reba, fair is fair. They're my kids, too. Yeah, I wish I could have done that on my own. <laughs> well, have Jake back as early as you can. I'm giving him a bike. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> Why? Well, see, I was in the mall the other day, and I saw this really cool bike, and, well, I... I bought it for him. Come on, Barbara Jean, honey, we should go. Oh, just hold on a minute. Look, you know, when we got divorced, we never discussed who got what tradition. I just sort of figured that the bike one was mine. Oh, well, here's my favorite tradition. You're wrong. <laughs> Come on, I already bought him the bike. Besides, I'm the one who bought Cheyenne a Christmas bike when she was eight. I made a tradition when I went out and bought Kara's bike when she was eight. Mine had a bow on it. I win. <laughs> Reba, the first thing Jake should see Christmas morning is that bike. Do you really want to take that away from him? Kind of. <laughs> okay, fine. Thanks, Reba. I'm going to go tell him. Won't you just torch the tree on your way out? <laughs> Big boy, his first Christmas Eve away from his mama. <laughs> now remember, if you sing really, really loud, I'll be able to hear you over here. <laughs> I'll try. I love you. I love you too, baby. Have fun. Joy to the world! <laughs> Enjoy your Christmas, Brock. <laughs> Me and you, kiddo. So what should we do first? We'll make some hot apple cider or go upstairs and put on our F pajamas and decorate the tree. Come on, Mom. The two of us sitting here forcing some holiday traditions that don't exist anymore? It sounds kind of pathetic. Pathetic or super duper fun? <laughs> well, the thing is, Kendall's family has this huge Christmas Eve open house every year. Hang on a sec. Hello? No, have your mom drive around the block. She hasn't said yes yet. Please. Go. Pull around. Mom, you are the best. Mm, save it for Santa. I won't be late. Yeah. All right. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Mm. Talk to about donating some food? Well, I'll take it. Oh, are you in charge here? No, I'm hungry. <laughs> well, those are homemade cookies. I make them every year when my family decorates our tree. I also wear these cute little elf pajamas, but I didn't want to start a ruckus. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> Anyhow, my family's off doing other stuff, so here I am, helping out, sharing the Christmas cheer. <laughs> Come on, have another one. No. Oh, yeah, there's plenty. Go ahead. I don't doubt it. They're lousy. Have a 
about you? You want some gravy for your mashed potatoes? You make it? Yes, sir. Pass. <laughs> you know what? You're wrecking this for me. Here, I'm supposed to be feeling good about all this, and all I feel like doing is pouring this gravy in your lap. Oh, hey there, sister. <laughs> hey, I'm just getting some gravy. There you go. What's your problem? The problem is I'm here on Christmas Eve instead of being with my family. Oh, well, hey, I've got the same problem. If you don't mind me asking, how come you're not with your family? I gotta work. It's the busiest night of the year for Santa. Oh, right. You're Santa. <laughs> I should have known that since I'm the tooth fairy. I really am Santa. Today, I was at Ryan's department store. Oh, that must be fun. It's four bucks an hour, lady. Yeah, it's great. Where's your family? <laughs> oh, well, they're off having a great time. My oldest daughter is going to... Lake Conroe, and then my other daughter's at a party, and my baby boy, he's with his dad. Hey, hey, it's all right. Uh, look, I'm eating your gravy. <laughs> and they're going to give him the bike. Could be worse. They could be giving him a pony. <laughs> I know, I feel stupid. Here I am feeling sorry for myself and all these people here have a lot bigger problems than I do. Yeah, that's why I come down here, to feel better about myself. <laughs> I used to hang around with a disfigured guy so I wouldn't feel bad about the extra weight I put on. That's not what I meant. I know what you meant. Look, there's always someone suffering worse than you. Doesn't mean that your pain doesn't count. Just when I thought divorce couldn't hurt me anymore, I lose something else. Christmas Eve used to be so special. Well, it's been nice talking to you, but... <laughs> I think you better get going. I hear we're going to get an ice storm later. Oh, okay. You have to go anywhere? Yeah. To every freaking house in the whole world. <laughs> Be safe. Merry Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reba? Yeah. Hey, how did you know my name? I know everybody's name. Oh, yeah, you're Santa. Don't walk out of here tonight feeling sorry for yourself. If you do, you're stealing Christmas from every person who, for whatever reason, isn't with their family tonight. If your traditions meant anything, your family's still together in your heart. Go home, decorate your tree, and a speech. Thought you didn't like those. I don't. By the time we get to Japan, you'd be surprised what a reindeer will eat. <laughs> Okay, so how does this tradition thing work? Well, what were some of your favorite holiday traditions growing up? Uh, Dad would golf, Mom would drink, and I'd play with my toys. <laughs> hey, at, at my house we would always hang stockings, and then that would be the first thing that we'd open. We should do that. Great! <laughs> Did you bring the stockings? No! <laughs> Didn't you? No. Well, I have socks and huge feet. <laughs> Let's just forget about the whole stocking thing. So okay. What should we make for Christmas dinner? Oh. Ma always makes roast beef. Perfect. But do you think we'll have enough time to cook it? I don't know. I don't even know if we have a frying pan. <laughs> <laughs> well, wh why don't we have roast beef here? A great idea. <laughs> Perfect. Dang, they don't have any roast beef. What kind of roadside pancake house is this? Oh, Deborah? Yeah, it's Reba. Yeah, I, I was just calling to say because of the weather and all, maybe it'd be a good idea for Kira to spend the night over there tonight. 
Never mind, Ever. She's back. Thanks a bunch. Hey, Mom. Kira, why did you come home? Not that I'm complaining, mind you, but it's terrible out there. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest Christmas party. Did you know they're Jewish? <laughs> no, they're not. I know. I just couldn't get the picture of you all alone out of my head. So, you want to sing Christmas carols? Mom, don't push it. Oh, okay, great. I guess we can spend the time uh, discussing your personal life. Jingle bells, jingle bells. <laughs> oh, you're back. And you're so cute. Let me take Elizabeth. Thank you. Here you go. Uh, wow, I didn't expect you guys back till tomorrow. What happened? Well, we just thought it was kind of stupid to start new traditions when we have such great old ones. Plus, uh, we forgot our stockings. <laughs> Well, I'm just glad you're back. Why don't you go on in and join in on the fun? I'm back! Oh, Jake! Oh, this is the best Christmas present I've ever had. You know, he's worried that Santa wouldn't know where to find him, so he wants to leave a note on his bed. I told him we could just call Santa, but somebody told him Santa doesn't have a phone. Well, he doesn't. I mean, that's just silly. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Daddy. Hey, Barbara Jean. Merry Christmas, Angel. Mm. You know, it was really rough driving over here. Tell you what, if the storm doesn't break, we may have to stay over here tonight. That'd be great. <gasps> I could borrow one of Reba's nighties. <laughs> will break. If there's a God in heaven, it'll break. Hey, Dad, since you're here, you get to do the lights like always. What can I do? Well, you can stand out on the front porch and monitor the weather. <laughs> Barbara Jean. <laughs> you can do the tinsel. <gasps> One strand at a time. You know what me and my sister would do when we would decorate the tree? What? Tinsel fight. <laughs> Come on, Reba. Make it hard for me. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Oh, 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 Jean, honey, honey. <laughs> Maybe you ought to just, just focus on the tree. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All your kids are home for Christmas. Looks like you got your wish. Yeah. <laughs> well, almost. <laughs> Brock, what are you doing, having a seance in here? <laughs> no, I was going to make a bologna sandwich. I wanted to set the mood. Power's out. Yeah. Ooh, it's really howling out there. Hey, Reba? Yeah. It was always a nice tradition, Christmas Eve. Yeah, it was. You know, I was just sitting here thinking about all the Christmas Eves back when the kids were little. Us up late, putting stuff together. Okay, you putting stuff together, me buzzed on eggnog playing with the toys. <laughs> do you think they remember it? I mean, do you think they remember it as good? Yeah, I really do. Power's back. the back and then brought it over here in this storm that was so sweet <laughs> come on i didn't bring the bike over here you went out and bought it i didn't buy him a bike you butt <laughs> and thank you well you're welcome oh. 
But I know you did it, you double butt. <laughs> yeah, I have it your way. I better get some rest. In three short hours, I have to pretend to like Barbara Jean. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Brock. Merry Christmas, Reba. <laughs>